Hello everyone, welcome to Sami FS Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy on Crash 500. But I don't intend getting this video very long. I'm going to make it real quick. Hey, what's up everyone? If you're new to my channel, do where to subscribe. Click the notification button so that whenever I post a content, you get notified. Real quick, I want to show you how to do this. Now on our indicator window one, I have MACD, I have, okay, let me show you. I have my RSI. You can just take a screenshot to know how we do this. Take a screenshot and apply it to your chart just the exact same way it is. You go to the MACD. This is my settings to my MACD. Take a screenshot and apply it just the exact same way it is. My moving average. We have this in my moving average whatever you see in my in my charts or whatever i'm showing right now just take a screenshot and apply it just the same way it is and lastly i have this uh since i silented this uh this one okay i silented my signal and my main is showing so just apply this just the same way it is so if you apply this you get this in your chart this is what you get in your chart applying the settings i just showed to you uh then go into the main, go to click your F button just for the uh, sake of those who are new to this channel. You click on the F button to show you the settings. F, your F button, you click there. And the moving average 50, you apply the 50 exponential with the settings screenshot and apply it to your chart. Uh, we have 20 exponential and we have 200 exponential. So guys, I, I, I'm sure if you watch my videos, I always bring out something new. So right now, I'm going to show you two ways you can buy on Christ 500. So pay close attention to this video so that you become more uh, proactive and actually become more profitable in your trading. Uh, these guys are really messing up the whole, the whole place. You see the kind of crash that comes here. One crash covers up the whole the whole time spent waiting to catch the small trade or the small buy you see one one full spike just covering all the whole the whole thing it's really embarrassing and it's really messing up you know and i've been you know trying to see how we can just get best entry points in this so so i've been working on some things lately and this is what i came up with so guys let's see how this goes uh, <clears throat> so let's see how this goes, guys. So if you're trading at this particular zone, you will see uh, this signal line with my moving average. They are crossing together and they are going up together. Now let's go back to our chart and check the red and the green which the red no the green is exponential 20 and macd settings so we have the exponential 20 they are both taking a call from the 10 level and they are going up moving average is not going up and macd going down it doesn't have to be this way they both have to be facing up like this way for we to take a buy. If you're taking a buy here, the moving average should be going up and the MACD is going up. This gives us a better confirmation of buying. Any spy, any crash that comes from that zone is going to cover up. And then you want to get a better confirmation like you can hold some trades you see this area crossing you can see a crossover from this area we have your 20 moving average crossing your 50 moving average at this area 20 over 50 cross the crossing above so these are two areas you want to place uh, a buy from you understand at this level at this level this is an, uh, uh, an early entry point from this area. So these two are crossing. Now, be careful enough to observe. Sometimes you see, uh, you might see the 20 going down and the MACD is going up. 
don't place let me show you guys don't place a buy in that zone because it's still gonna crash down let me show you guys mm. at this area like here like what we have in this area like what we have here And what we have here, you can see this one is still going down and this one is going like this. That's really wrong. So, they both have to take this direction upward. If you have this, then a crash is still going to occur before the buy sets in. Guys, I hope you all understand. All right, just like we have here currently in our charts, like we have here currently in our charts. Uh, uh, okay, you can see, you can see these guys, they assembled here and they're moving up together and you can see it happened here. So if you missed here, you can see 2050 crossing over to 2050 crossing over and they're going up. Is a 200 moving average so sometimes you can get here and you know drop it sometimes you can drop it sometimes you do pass it and drop and continue up that's what price normally does okay so when you miss this area check out for this area where 2050 are crossing over so once this condition is met once this condition is met there's a likelihood that you're going to see 2050 crossover around this area 20 or 50 crossover there's a very big probability that you're going to see them crossover but once it's not like in this area like this area now you can see that macd is going up and this one is coming down you're not taking any uh, you're not taking any action in that zone you have to allow both to come down to this 10 level and they're both coming up they're both going up so it gives you a, a better chance to you know take some buys from that area and while taking some buys in those areas, you also notice that your moving average 20 and your moving average 50 are also coming to do what intersect. As you can see, they both cross each other in this zone. So giving you a strong signal of a buy in this area. So guys, let's back test this strategy and see how effective it has been so far. So you can see <clears throat> in this area, we got it and we got it. You see these guys crossed, took some buys here, then we left the market. You got it, guys? So, uh, here also we have something of that nature here. MACD have gone to the buying side, you know, once the MACD crosses the zero level and goes up, it's on the buying level. So, one is down, it's on the selling level, so you understand? So we are still on our upside. So when you see the MACD still on the, the main body of the MACD, the main body is still on the upside, you know. We are still buying until it breaks down and gets down below. So we're still buying here. So you see it's assembled here and continues going up. So we're still buying here. And this is where it started from. It started from this level, as you can see. Started from here, which is this level, and you can see across here too. It bought, then came down. And you can see this crossover here. It came down, you know, continued up again. Continue moving up again, guys. So, so you can go ahead and back test the strategy, guys. It really works. It can save you. It can save you a whole lot of stress you know if you're not being good in the market you can see you can see where they intersect guys look at this take a look at this you all can see they are intersecting and going up you all can see after a pullback after a small correction they kept they came back again and they are intersecting again if you apply this thing and taking five to ten candles you're not going to lose in the market or the crash will not catch you even if it catches you at this area, it's going to take you back up. Just make sure that these conditions are well met before placing an entry in the market, guys. Really know how messy and how crazy these crash things can be. But then with this, 
I think you're going to get more profitable in the market. Even if a crash comes in around this area, you're still going to be profitable because it's going to cover it up. Look at this area. They are both going up. And so we have here. The crash came, it took it up. Crash came, it took it up. There was a crossover around this area and price pulled back and it moved higher up. So allow these conditions to be met and you see yourself becoming more profitable in the market. Hey, guys. Please sign me FS Academy and I always got your back. So I want you to do me a favor. If you know you're subscribed to this channel, do it subscribe and comment below on this video. If this video has been educative or impacted a lot, come on, comment below, comment below. Uh, I, I believe with this strategy, you become better in the market, guys. This is for this is this is it. This is it, guys. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Place a trade, guys. I place a trade, guys. <laughs> guys, though this is crazy, but then it's sweet, really sweet. Oh, all right. Signing out right here.